Mail is on the table. I got one from the city. Yeah? What's it say? It's a speeding ticket. <laughs> they finally caught you, huh? No, I don't speed. I'm mean, sure I stay on the left side of the lane, but I never go above the speed limit. Ugh, you're one of those people. What, are you a speed demon? No, I think if you're going to drive slow, <laughs> drive on the right side of the lane. Wait a minute, o October 31st at 9 p.m., I was at home handing out candy to trick-or-treaters. Somebody stole my car. Don't look at me. <laughs> Why not? You went out last night. You don't have a car. My friend drove me. Yeah, I'm supposed to believe that. How do I know you're not the one who's supposed to be paying this $100 fine? A hundred bucks? No way, I didn't take your stupid car. Come on, Grace, it's not about the money. It's about the honor. It's not about the money? Really? It's a little bit about the money. Well, I think you're lying about staying home all day. How do I know you're not just trying to trick me into paying your ticket? I guess we're at a stalemate then. No. Your name is on the ticket. You pay the fine. Oh, come on, go have these with me. No, you bum. But I know it was you. And I know it was you. <sighs> Maybe it was Bobby. He did go out last night. Yeah, is he home? No, I think he's in class. Is his door locked? It's never locked. And he keeps his money in the sock drawer. Bobby. Bobby.